Hello, how are you guys doing? Thanks for having us. us. Oh my gosh, you're so excited. (laughs) Yay! So we have the Humphrey CYSS in with us as they normally are around this time of month and this time in the afternoon. But today I am very lucky to have actually two youth from Camp Humphreys in the studio with me. So Timmy, I'm going to start with you. Just introduce yourself and tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm Timmy and I'm 17. I'm... Oh, go ahead, Tina. Yeah, please. (laughs) Introduce yourself. (laughs) I'm Tina, and I'm 16. Very cool. How long have you guys been here at Camp Humphreys? For about a year. And Tina? I think I've lived here for a majority of my life, actually. Really? Wow. (laughs) Very cool. So they're going to be in the studio with us, kind of giving us the inside scoop on everything that happens over at the Camp Humphreys CYSS. We're going to be talking about some awesome field trips that they're going to be going on here in August, a new sixth grader orientation, and a really cool way to celebrate going back to school at the end of August. So stay tuned. That is all coming up right here on AFN Oson the Eagle. Get out to the forest. Let the kids connect to their roots. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah! Woo-hoo! Hey, guys, wait up! And discover the wonders of nature with your family. These trees are the key to our way of life. Fresh air. What a glorious morning! Clean water. Woo-hoo! This is great! An endless forest adventure. Yeah! Let's rock this jungle! Yo, this is untapped territory. How amazing! <laughs> Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. joined in the studio by Timmy and Tina, TNT, (laughs) T-squared. We got to come up with like a cool name for you guys. You guys are like official radio hostesses now. <laughs> welcome, welcome to the cool, cool people club. So Timmy and Tina are in the studio with me from Camp Humphrey CYSS talking about all the cool things going on over at there during the summer. And they're going to be taking some awesome field trips coming up in August. And luckily um, they brought Tina with them today because Tina is an Everland expert. <laughs> Tell me how many times you've been to Everland. Everland now, Tina. I think around four or five times that I can remember. Four or five times. That's um, that's pretty. That's pretty amazing. Um, <laughs> what is like your favorite as an Everland expert? What's like your favorite part of Everland? Oh, Tea Express, of course. <laughs> okay, so what is Tea Express? Well, Tea Express is the steepest wooden roller coaster in the wooden roller coaster in the world. It's actually in the Guinness Book of World Records and everything. Oh my goodness, that mm-hmm. sounds amazing. <laughs> so. Was it, were you a little bit scared, like your first time riding oh, the roller coaster? Yeah, of course. I, I rode it on Friday the 13th, and the, the anticipation was a little frightening. Yeah, that's definitely, you picked an interesting day <laughs> to ride uh, the world's steepest wooden roller coaster. So um, that's definitely cool. Uh, what would you say to like kids or, um, you know, people your age that are here in Korea um, that haven't been to Everland yet? Um, I would say that the rides with the longest lines are definitely worth the wait. (laughs) Very cool. Is it like a place where you can spend all day, you don't really get bored, there's a lot to do? Oh, of course, I could spend all night in Everland if I wanted to. (laughs) They have fireworks and everything, even like little shows, and they have parades that go on that, yeah. It's always fun. That sounds amazing. <laughs> so you guys are going to be taking a field trip out there to Everland. Tell me when you guys are heading out there. Oh, we're going to be heading there August 7th, and the registration has to be in by the 1st of August. Yep, and you need to bring a little bit of Korean won for your lunch, and it's open to all 6th to 12th grade registered youth. Now, if Everland isn't really your style, or if you go to Everland and you just want more thrills you're heading to another amusement park coming up at the end of August Timmy tell us a little bit about uh, this awesome trip coming up we're going to Caribbean Bay as a trip it's gonna be amazing it's a huge water park we're going on the 21st of August very cool have you ever been to Caribbean Bay no are you super excited I am so excited to go and I heard they have the longest lazy river ever So I'm so excited to get in there. 
it's definitely a good time. I've only ever seen pictures, but it definitely rivals some of the pictures that I've seen of water parks back in the States. So tell us um, how we get registered uh, for the Caribbean Bay water park trip. We, you have to go to Parent Central, which is building 1127, and ask for a permission slip, and they will help you register if you're not in the system. Very cool. And both trips are going to depart from building 427 at 9 a.m. and be back at around 5 p.m. Um, have you guys heard that a lot of your friends are going on these trips? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We already have the permission slips and everything. Oh, my gosh. Just... You guys are on top of things. <laughs> so these trips are definitely going to fill up. So you need to register early. Early. The registration deadline, like Tina said, for Everland is going to be August 1st, which is right around the corner. And when's that registration deadline for Caribbean Bay? The 15th of August. The 15th of August. So definitely get registered for those two trips. Same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. In the studio with me, Timmy and Tina from the Camp Humphreys CYSS. And I want to talk about something very important for maybe some new kids that are getting to Camp Humphreys. It's the new sixth grader orientation. Tell me a little bit about what this orientation is all about, Timmy. It's welcoming in new sixth graders who are just going into the sixth grade, um, helping them register into the teen center and socialize with new people. It makes me wish I was going into the sixth grade because <laughs> it's just for them and it's not letting anyone in any other grade into the teen center for that night. So it will be great for them. Yeah, so this isn't just like people that are new to Camp Humphreys. This is like maybe kids that have been at Camp Humphreys, but now they're actually finally allowed to go to the oh, teen yeah. center. The ones that are just graduating elementary school and coming into our building, it's going to be great for them. That's a big deal. So you guys are going to kind of, um, they're going to get to be shown around the teen center and look at all the cool stuff that you guys have over there. And like you said, it's going to be close to everybody else um, because youth programs is actually going to be on a field trip. But what are those kind of, kind of some of the things that um, the sixth graders are going to learn during their orientation? They're going to learn the rules and how to behave and how, <laughs> what to do at the teen center. Um, they'll receive information on how to register, and also they'll learn to cooperate and socialize with new people around them. So when is this new sixth grader orientation happening? The Thursday, the 21st of August, from 1 to 5 o'clock. And it's going to be over in building 427. Do we have to pre-register or sign up for the orientation? No, you don't. They will help you if you're not registered that day. Very cool. So all you got to do is show up. Show up. Show your smiling face. <laughs> Yay. Pretty easy. Stay tuned. We're going to have more with Timmy and Tina. Going to be talking about the back to school dance, a big event coming up at the end of August. Stay tuned. Hey buddy, let's take a little walk. When I say go outside, we go outside. When I say fork it over, you fork it over. Hey, when I say pause the movie, we pause the movie. Come on, big boy. Pucker up. Cigarettes are bullies. Don't let tobacco control you.
Air Force Staff Sergeant Caitlin Jones hanging out with you with Humphreys CYSS, a little TNT takeover on my show today with Timmy and Tina. And I want to talk about something. Are you guys excited to go back to school? Timmy, you're starting your senior year. Yes. So you got to be pretty excited to be so a excited. senior. So, uh, Tina, what about you? Excited to go back to school or you want summer maybe a little bit longer? I do wish summer would extend a little bit. <laughs> I know the feeling. I know the feeling. But you guys are celebrating in an amazing way. Uh, tell me about the back-to-school dance that's coming up. The Teen Center is throwing a back-to-school dance on Saturday, the 30th of August, inside of the CAC Ballroom. It's open to everyone from grades 6 to 12 until, I want to say, 9 o'clock? 9 o'clock, yep, you're right. <laughs> 9 o'clock. I want to say middle school is getting kicked out, but they're being invited outside of the ballroom so high school can have their own ballroom party. So it will be very exciting. And Tina, what are some of the different kinds of things that are going to be going on at the back to school dance? Um, we're going to have professional DJ Dune and we're going to have dancing, games, snacks, drinks and more. But so, yeah, oh. tell me, how, how do we get in? Oh, well, there's a small fee at the door to cover DJ expenses, but no pre-registration is needed. And the teens must be CYSS registered. Very cool. So all of that going on is Saturday, August 30th over at the Community Activity Center Ballroom. Are you guys going to be going out to that? I think I'm going to go. I'm, I'm going to go. <laughs> so is it like a formal thing? Are you already like thinking about your outfits that you're going to wear? Or is it more of a casual laid back? I I don't know. I actually <laughs> have not thought about my outfits. I might go casual. Yeah, because it might be too hot to wear a dress. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I like casual. A little laid back. So, very cool. Head out there August 30th to the back to school dance. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with Timmy and Tina to wrap up here on AFN O's on the Eagle. Thank you guys so much, first of all, for taking time out of your busy schedule. You guys have jobs now, oh, yeah. which is yeah. kind of cool, um, for coming over and hanging out with me. Um, tell us how we can find out more information about the uh, Teen Center over there at Camp Humphreys. Um, you can follow the Instagram page at Youth Center Humphreys. Um, we have a YouTube page for Ooh. YCTV at UCAG Humphreys. And Facebook. How do we find you on Facebook? Um, USAG Humphreys. Okay, yeah, and you guys have a Teen Center Facebook as well that you guys can search for. Um, lots of great information out there on the Camp Humphreys CYSS program. They're very involved and they have a ton of stuff to do. So if you haven't joined CYSS, you need to get that done. Um, do you guys have any shout outs you want to give to your friends? Anybody over at Humphreys listening? <laughs> Shout out to YCTV. <laughs> YCTV. We can give shout outs to the people that have been hanging out with us here in the studio, too. Shout out to my dad and my mom Aww. and my family and Sophie and Aquarius <laughs> and Jewel Beth, who's listening. We love you. Very cool. And you guys can actually, you guys produce this segment for YCTV, right? Yes, we do. So if you log on to the YouTube page, you can watch um, the YCTV broadcast and see previous radio shows we've did and this one will be produced and up there in a couple days right yes ma'am very cool hey thank you guys so much for coming over thank you for oh, having you us you guys like i said are professionals now so <laughs> come back anytime all right do a tnt you. takeover TNT on af and os on the eagle this is timmy and i'm tina <laughs> and this is a tnt, TNT takeover, takeover.